beautiful love. It's the 6th of July 2024 and this is Tavistock Devon's Food Pride event. I'm in Devon. Love, Pride HQ Plymouth, Pride Speciality. Pride stall within the southwest. Urban Pride hit. stall. And uh, this, so. <laughs> so, I'm teaching for three years. I decided to walk in the southwest to a permanent feature in women of just a bit of representation within the community. So, no one else was going to do it. Manchester originally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, down to put it for love. And, uh, <laughs> as you do. As you do. Um, no, 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 no. I wasn't joining any. The only army I'd join is the Love Army. This is us. So, and we're all about the niceness, about bringing people together, promoting positivity, raising awareness, uh, not only within the community, but a lot of people without. We're outside the community, you know. Um, Educating. We also act as a little hub for safe space. If anybody's looking for any information, if anybody's if you put people in touch with the Com Trust, which is a charity of support, we put people in touch with the Not Alone Plymouth. So we do try and act as getting information out there to people that need it. So you're based in the main market in Plymouth. Behind the fruit and veg guy. So <laughs> <laughs> he's, um, you'll hear him before you see me. Um, yeah, he's. Um, Sound That's all right. It's, it's just been. A, I'll tell you what it is. The easiest way to sum it up. It's been a nice experience. You know, you do hear some heartbreaking stories, but ultimately, for every shitty comment that I get, um, I get a thousand nice ones. So I can do. I can. I can work with those maths if you know what I mean. Yeah. So how long have you been up and running? Been up and running since um, we started, just before Christmas. Um, and it's one of those things where you start something you have no idea how it the, how it's going to be accepted within a marketplace because you get every Tom, Dick, and Harry walking past people of all they're very popular people. Say again. They're very popular people. Tom, Dick, and Harry. Well, they certainly are. <laughs> um, especially Dick. Uh, so it's you just don't know how you're going to be accepted. You don't know how you you know any perceptions. You don't know. Will there be religious zealots all lined up outside protesting within a week? Yeah. Again, you just don't know. So it's been nice to be received so well within the Southwest community, just the whole Southwest. Some of it's quite linking still in some areas. They still need to open up the city centre. You might see it from a different point of view. Having Dad, there all day. Yeah, I might see it from a different. Okay, I might see it from a different point of view. Um, it's just. Uh, Ah, I anyway, it doesn't matter about that. Uh, but may, what made you come up with the idea? It was supporting. I mean, I read that. Well, I finished teaching and had enough, and I read that nearly half of trans people in this country literally attempt suicide, and that was took a bit louder. Sorry. No, the the attempt suicide. Forty yeah. percent of trans people in the country, and. That shocked me and upset me, and yeah. I thought, how do I, as an individual, move that needle as far as possible, where acceptance is the norm? Yeah. Where, let's get it right, people are people, and the contents of somebody else's underpants is always, always their business. It's yeah, nobody. Course. It's not um, the business of your next door neighbour, but again, it's certainly not the business of politicians. And I find that when politicians well, they like, tend to be blinked anyway. Well, they're in their own bubble. I find quite often. And usually hypocritical likes, in the process as well. Well, I find Sunak wanted to do culture wars, yes. and his words of validation at the top uh, validate violence for thugs at the bottom. Yeah. So we're just trying to move the needle as far as possible. Yeah. That's the that's the the main aim of the storm, nice as it were. One. So what have we got here? We've got. Hello. 
How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Carry on. <laughs> I've got, um, we sell a lot of pins. I've got lanyards with whistles so you can make noise and be fabulous. Yeah. Got a lot of croc charms there for a pound each. You can put them all in your crocs. Uh -huh. um, oh, look amazing. Why, why are you flip flops? Flip flops. These are crocs. <laughs> Crop, sorry. I've got Did about bite? I've got about 25 different types of card uh, flags here. Okay. Face paints, belts, special <laughs> for LGBT jewellery. Do you know we just try and promote with that within the community. Yeah. So how can people contact you? Or your store? Love Army HQ, type it into Google, type it into Instagram, type it into Twitter, type it into tic TikTok, you name it, we're on it. So, Love Army HQ, just one word. Okay. Thanks to the incredible organisers and people of Tavistock Devon 2024. Thank you all. Love. Army HQ Plymouth. Music on this video with great thanks by Jasmine from Plymouth. Now, Summertime TV Worldwide, you can contact us at CCS Photo 1 at gmail.com. Don't forget to friend and share the video.